Hello, Game My Mom is back. And in this video, we're going to answer the question Is Blizzard Fruit the new meta for grinding bellies? But before we start, you can show your support by using Star Code Gamer Nom and purchasing Robux. 5% of the earnings will go to this channel. This will really help us make better videos. Okay, guys, so I read this comment on my previous video by Rewrite1776. I found an easier way to grind money using Blizzard Fruit. And this is his whole or entire comment. There you go, if you want to use this. Also, shout out to Rewrite for the idea. So, my question to everyone who's watching right now guys, are you aware of this strategy? If yes, comment in the comment section. Or if you have another strategy, comment it in the comment section. Obviously, you need the Blizzard Fruit for my stats, max. Uh, Blast Fruits, there you go. Also, if you notice, I have Max Mastery on my Blizzard Fruit. Okay guys, so now for the strategy, get a quest, right? So I chose the Ship Stewards. We will also be trying other mobs here. Don't worry about that. Okay, so let's head, I think, in the middle of this room. Stand in the middle and then use the V-Skill in order to lure everything, right? Also, my favorite timer will also be included to see how efficient this strategy is. So, good job. We were able to lure five, right? Five at a time, not bad. And then we're gonna use other skills to finish them. So, I suggest using the C skill. If they're not yet dead, use your X skill and Z skill or F skill if you want. Hey, okay, so guys, how much did we earn from that? I think we earned a total of 4,488. That's a lot, right? We can buy lots of Robux with that. Now is the time to wait for mobs to spawn and for our skills to cool down. So as you can see, the spawn time of the mobs is kind of slow. And this is the thing that makes it uh, longer. Now they're there, we're gonna use our skills. There you go. Okay, 45 seconds and we haven't still finished the quest yet. Hmm, this is kind of the downside, right? So okay, there you go. 52 seconds. Oh, we need to kill this one. Okay, 54 seconds. So how much did we earn? We earned a total of 15,806 plus 4,488 including the quest for a total of 20,294 bellies in 54 seconds. By the way, you can also use accessories to increase the damage or decrease the cooldown, right? Oh, one more thing. If the curse ship is too dark, use fast mode. Okay, we're gonna try it. I'm gonna show it to you. It's dark, right? Okay, there you go. Okay, let's go back inside and check. The details now it's kind of brighter right okay so now guys we're gonna try the ship deckhands maybe you're gonna like this more take note that we can defeat four mobs at a time which means the previous one has more mobs which means more money right but as you can see they're easier to defeat obviously they're a weaker uh, set of mob and again as usual we're gonna wait for them to spawn guys I have a question what is the cooldown of the blizzard domain Please comment it in the comment section and thank you in advance. Also guys, I have a question. What is the best accessor for decreasing cooldown? Did I mention that it was Leia a while ago? I think that's wrong. What I'm talking about is the Choppa hat. The one that you can get from Sea Beasts, right? Okay, so again, they've already spawned. There you go. 40... The previous one is 54 seconds, right? This one is... 45 seconds. So I think it's a lot faster, but again, less bellies, right? But guys, think of this. As you can see, I'm getting chests now. We can get seven chests located at the rooms near this area for more bellies. If you do that, you will get a total of 36,769 bellies. Not bad, right? But again, the spawn time of the chests, which means it is better if you do this in the private server. Okay guys, so time to try this on other mobs. So for our next mob, I tried to grind the Swan Pirates with the Blizzard Fruit. So same character guys, just for internet connection. <laughs> See that? Same Mastery 600 and we're using the Santa Hat. If you don't have Santa Hat, don't worry guys. <laughs> so guys, we're gonna use the V-Skill. Good thing we can lure all the Swan Pirates here. We can, I think, lure 6 at a time. And with just one skill, we can defeat them. That's really fast, right? Also, one good news is that... They spawn faster, even though, again, the reward is slower. So guys, I think in farming this kind of mobs, we need to decrease the cooldown. So again, Choppa or other items. Again, for other items, comment it in the comment section. I think you can also use the Cocoa Hat, right? There you go, another V-Skill. 
boom, we're done, guys. 35 seconds, we were able to grind Swamp Pirates for a total of 17,565. Gamer Nom, how about the third C? Because things get harder here because, again, most of the mobs have hacky. So the mob that I chose was the Cookie Crafters because there are seven mobs here that you can lure really fast. Okay, I mean, with just your V skill, you can lure them. Let's time it. Guys, I'm gonna emphasize on the time here because even though you can lure seven at a time, these mobs will give you more money and the reward is 14,200. But guys, check this out. They're harder to defeat, obviously. You need to use all of your skills just to defeat them. There you go. Check that reward money, guys. 8,326. But did you notice something? Blizzard domain is already done. And the mobs haven't spawned yet. Yes, the problem is the spawn time of these mobs. 37, 38, 39, 40. See that? All skills are on cooldown. No cookie crafters yet. 47, 48, 49. There you go, guys. Almost one minute. Finally, they spawned. There you go. We're gonna defeat them. Guys, we will get 30,852 bellies in total for this one quest. But again, the time, uh, more than one minute. So compared to doing Swan Pirates, you can already earn that much with that time, right? Okay, so moving on, I tried this mob too in the Haunted Castle. And I am talking about the Reborn Skeletons. They don't have a hockey, so you can freely grind here. Again, you can lure seven mobs at a time, but that's really hard, guys, I'm telling you, okay? Also, aside from that, yes, you can lure them. They have low HP, but the problem are they're super energetic. They keep on flying around with their flying kick. Check that out, guys. See that? So once you use your V skill, you need to lure them again, okay? So they're easy to kill. You can get bones, but will cost you lots of time. That's why I did time it. Also, there's an annoying fence here. <laughs> See that fence, guys? They will get stuck there. So guys, if you're grinding for bones, yeah, it's kind of easy using the Blizzard Fruit here. But if you want to grind money, I don't suggest. How about in the first game or no? Uh, guys, in the Skylands, this is the only area where you can lure lots of mobs, I think. Okay, if I'm wrong, please comment in the comment section. The Shandas, okay? Remember this in the upper sky? Guys, with this 600 master, you can one-shot everyone here using your V-Skill. There you go. See that guys very easy okay, but again just a reminder even though they're dead with just one skill weak mobs is equal to lower your reward okay you will get a, a total of 13,000 plus for the reward when you grind here so it's really low guys so guys what do you think these are all the mobs where you can grind blizzard fruit is this better than uh, sea beast hunting how about this the portal foot grinding or even server hopping bosses so guys if you think this is really good make sure to comment it in the comment section again to all the viewers subscribers supporters really appreciate you all this is gamer nom gamer nom out